please, man. Pretty please with a uh, cherry on top game. Hey, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about how to get better at building and editing. Now, these are two very broad topics that make up a big part of Fortnite. So today, I'm going to try to focus in on just a few of the important aspects of improving your building and editing so I can get through this as fast as possible. First, I'm going to talk about some settings and keybind rules of thumb to follow to make sure you're able to edit and build quickly. Once I go over those, I'll talk about all the essential builds and edit techniques you need to be able to pull off consistently, and then lastly, I'll discuss the best ways to practice building and editing. As usual, I will have timestamps below in the description of the video, so feel free to jump between different sections of the video as you see fit. Alright, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, firstly, I'm going to talk about some rules of thumb to follow with your keybinds and settings to make sure you can build fast. Considering I'm a PC player, these tips will mostly be catered towards a keyboard and mouse setup, but even so, a lot of these tips still apply to console, so just be mindful if you are a console player watching this. And one more thing I just want to clarify before there is any confusion is that keybinds are a very preference-based thing, and so you've probably noticed that almost everyone has a different set of keybinds that works for them. But these tips today are general guidelines that you should follow no matter what keybinds you end up choosing. Alright, let's get into the tips. Now one of the biggest tips that has helped me improve my building in the past week or so is using a different finger for each build in Fortnite. Based on your setup, you might not be able to attain this completely, but you should definitely aim to have at least your wall, stair, and floor keybinds all be controlled by a different finger. The reason this tip is so important is because a lot of the more complex builds that are becoming foundational these days require you to be able to perform all these different builds in quick succession. And if you have one finger in charge of a bunch of different hotkeys, you won't be able to build as fast as you could if you separated out your hotkeys around your setup. So if you notice that when you're trying to do 90s or ramp rushes, that one finger is being overworked more than any of the others, try to switch around your binds to fingers that aren't doing as much, because spacing out your keybinds will drastically increase your building speed. If you have extra mouse keybinds, those are a great place to start, but even using buttons near your pinky finger could also help improve your keybinds and help you build faster. Another tip that kind of goes along with the previous one that has helped me a lot as well is moving my building and editing keybinds to more high value portions of my keyboard. What I mean by that is on a PC at least, for most people, you're going to be using WASD to control your movement. So naturally your fingers are going to be resting in that area of the keyboard. This means that all the keys surrounding WASD are of high value because those keys are the easiest to reach quickly. For example, keys like the Q key, E key, and Shift key are all really valuable and should be dedicated to an important action in Fortnite because they are closest to WASD. So to give an example of how I improved my keybinds this way, was one thing that I noticed with my keybinds up until about a week ago is that I had my keybind for E set to opening chests and doors, which is something that I could have binded to a less important keybind. So what I did was I moved that keybind over to the control key and I moved my ramp keybind up to the E key. Basically what this did was two things. One, it made my ramp bind easier and quicker to reach, which has allowed me to build faster. But it also made it so that now my ramp, floor, and wall keybinds are all controlled by a different finger, which has sped up how fast I can do 90s and ramp rushes. So what you should do if you notice that the keybinds you use most often are not near WASD, is slowly try to shift things over closer to that area of the keyboard. I'll tell you from personal experience that changing your keybinds isn't easy, and the first two to three days after changes are always frustrating, but I promise the future you will be thankful you changed your keybinds because you will be much better once you get those improved settings down and you can develop that muscle memory. Okay, now that I have gone over some important keybind tips, let's talk about the essential builds and edits you need to be able to do in Season 9. This may be an unpopular opinion, but at least with building, I don't think there is that much complicated stuff that you absolutely need to be able to do. I'm aware there are some super crazy new high ground retakes and strategies, 
but in my opinion there are only four building techniques you really need to know. The first thing you need to be able to do is a three layer ramp brush. This is just the classic ramp floor wall push. The second thing you need to be able to do is a set of double 90s. Basically, as long as you can just do two decently fast 90s back to back, you'll be good in most fights. The third thing you need to be able to do is waterfall. You have probably seen this done before, and it's even easier than it looks, but basically all you do to waterfall is place walls and then catch yourself with the stair to get down from the high ground quickly. The fourth thing you have to be able to do is side jumps. These are probably the most situational of all these things, but being able to jump around a cone or flat and catch yourself comes in really handy in fights and is something that is not too complicated that you can do with a little practice. Another thing that you might want to know how to do that I'm not including in this list of foreign central builds is turtling and tunneling. Now the reason I don't mention it here is because really the only time you have to turtle and tunnel heavily is in competitive matches. So for the average player, all you really need to know is these four things, but just know that if you are looking to play more competitively, you'll probably want to practice turtling and tunneling as well. If you know all these basic tools, you are going to be set for most fights. By stringing these different strategies together, you will be able to pull off effective high ground retakes and win most build battles. Now of course, building is more than just those four things, but really, these techniques should be the core of what you're using in fights. The only other thing you need to know is some essential edits. In my opinion, like building, there are only a few edits you have to be able to use in most fights. The first edit you should have down is a classic corner edit on a wall. These are going to be your bread and butter in most fights, and you have to be able to do these quickly because they are a really common edit. The second edit you need to be able to do is reversing ramps. This is really important because it comes up a lot in box fighting, so make sure you can quickly flip ramps around. The third important edit is editing through a flat or cone while running up a ramp. Once again, these edits are simple, but you are going to use them a lot when ramp rushing. And then the fourth and last edit you should practice is editing down through a ramp and floor. These will come in handy when you have the high ground and you need to drop down quickly and surprise the enemy. Like with the builds, there are way more edits than just these four, but if you have these down, you can string them together to pull off just about anything you want. So practice these essential builds and edits, and if you can comfortably use them in your games, you will win most of your fights. Alright, now that you are ready with all your keybinds and you have the knowledge about what to do, let's talk practice. Ever since Creative was introduced to Fortnite, I have said the best way to practice is editing and building courses. If you're not doing them, you're missing out, because I credit these courses with basically all the progress I have made, with my mechanical skill at least, in the past few months. Since this is a more basic and foundational video, I think the best course to start with and what I'll recommend to you is Can Duke's Build and Edit course. This course has three different levels that will take you through all the different essential builds and edits I mentioned earlier. What's nice about this course and why I use it to warm up every time I play is it progressively gets harder. So level one is nice and slow paced and will get you ready for the more complicated builds and edits. But once you get to level three, you'll be doing really complicated edits, yet it won't even feel difficult because you'll have worked your way up there by doing the previous levels. I'll also have other courses linked below, but definitely give this one a try if you haven't already. One other thing you can do to practice is just load into an empty map and practice your ramp rushes, 90s, and high ground retakes. What I like to do is run through all of Kanduk's courses, then break out and practice my own free building. If you can run through a full course and free build for 20 minutes every day before you play, you will see some really big improvements in your mechanical skill in just one or two weeks time. So definitely take a look at the description and go through some of these courses. You won't regret it. All right, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Like I said, there is so much to talk about with building and editing, but hopefully this video has taught you all the foundational stuff you need to know in Season 9, and it's given you some good ways to practice. Please do let me know if any of these tips helped you, or if there is something that I should have mentioned, which I missed. As always, if you did find this video helpful, please do leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. These types of videos do take a while to make, so if you want to go above and beyond to help me out, you can enter my supporter creator code, SpookLuke, in the Fortnite shop. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Come in, come in, come in, come in.
Come in, come in, come in. 